you very much. It's a pleasure to have the opportunity to speak on, on Budget 2023 and on the immediate cost of living package that the government is introducing to support uh, families, to support citizens, uh, and obviously, of course, to support students right across our country. I'm very pleased to have worked uh, with Minister Collins to try and put in place a, a budget package uh, that helps everybody, because cost of living is something that everybody requires assistance with, but also particularly tries to target supports uh, to those most in need. The budget we unveiled yesterday is a cost of living budget. It's designed to help everyone in our country, and it's designed for the most vulnerable and the squeeze in the middle and those who need our public services. We know that families, we know that students uh, need support. Uh, we know that they need support in terms of their education and training and the costs associated with that. And we're very clearly aware that students and their parents certainly are not immune uh, from the cost of living crisis that we're experiencing in this country and indeed in many parts of the world. We understand that daily costs are rising. It's more expensive for everyone to do the weekly shop, to pay the electricity bills, and we know that students and parents are also facing those costs. Therefore, we've tried to take real and tangible steps in this budget to support and help people access and achieve in third level education. In this budget, we're putting money back in the pockets of students and their parents by introducing seven immediate measures which will be implemented straight away to provide tangible relief for students against the challenges of the rising cost of living. Firstly, a once-off €1,000 reduction in the undergraduate student contribution fee for higher education students eligible for the Free Fees Initiative. To be clear, if you've paid this fee, you'll receive a €1,000 refund from your university or college. If you have some of this fee outstanding, the money will be knocked off uh, the outstanding amount. Secondly, we've introduced a once-off reduction of a third in the contribution fee for apprentices in our third-level education system. I believe this is important as well. Thirdly, we're introducing a once-off bonus payment, a double payment for all student maintenance grant recipients. So before Christmas, whatever student grant payment you were due to get, you will now receive double in relation to that. When it comes to our postgraduate students, we're announcing a once-off increase of €1,000 in support to all SUSE qualified postgraduate students, increasing that level of support from €3,500 to €4,500. Fifthly, we're putting a further €8 million Euro investment in the Student Assistance Fund for the current academic year. Sixthly, we're introducing a once-off payment of €500 Euro, uh, for PhD students who receive an IRC or SFI award. Uh, and seventh, for the sector, accepting that it's going to cost more to put the lights on in our colleges and the likes across the country, we're putting in place a once-off ring-fenced fund for the third-level sector to assist with rising energy costs. This is my third budget as Minister for Further and Higher Education, Research, Innovation and Science, and this budget sees an additional investment of €288 million, uh, for the department, for the sector, bringing our budget to well over €3 billion. Euro. And with this significant new investment, we are now able to fund a number of major priorities for this government. In my role, I've met apprentices and students and their families. I've met researchers and staff across their country, and they've been clear in their asks and their hopes for the future of third-level education. Firstly, they want to see a third-level system adequately and properly resourced. This means a workable staff-student ratio, decent facilities, and additional places and capacity. This budget provides additional resources to advance our world-class education and training, because under Budget 2023, we are providing an extra €150 million Euro investment over the rest of this year and 2023 to the higher education sector. This will deliver a reduction in the staff-student ratio for our universities, taking us towards a step towards OECD norms and helping improve our global rankings. I think this is probably the first reduction in staff-student ratios in many, many years. In addition, it will provide for the extra 60 medicine places in higher education at an agreed sustainable rate co-funded by my department and the Department of Health. And most importantly, I think, due to this important uh, work of the reform programme called Funding the Future, every new student who enters higher education from next September we will fund the university or the institute an additional 25% per that student. So at the moment, we're paying about €6,500 for every student who goes in the door of a university or a college. That will rise to just over €8,200 from September. I want to thank the IUA. I want to thank Tia. I want to thank Professors Anne Looney and Tom Collins, my co-chairs of Funding the Future. We have a lot of work to do, but I do think this demographic work, this new core funding work, uh, coupled with the energy crisis and the costs we're allocating towards that, I do think will assist. In relation to further education and skills, my department will provide provide 3,000 skill net places through Skills Connect. This aims to reskill the unemployed, returners and other impacted groups for industries facing labour shortages. We'll support the government's climate action plan by providing over 2,000 skill net places to provide upskilling opportunities in emerging technologies and expansion of programmes to include sustainable finance, green tech and responding to climate change. 
to support business through the impact of Brexit, this department will also provide 7,400 training places through Skillnet Ireland to assist our small and medium enterprises to adapt to new market and regulatory realities, and a further 1,000 places to support the digital transformation and sustainability journey of larger companies, including those impacted by Brexit. Supporting our Housing for All strategy, my department provides €30 million Euro funding in this budget to increase capacity for apprenticeships in 2023, including addressing the backlog on apprenticeships exacerbated by the pandemic. I'm delighted to inform the House that there's also additional funding for social inclusion measures in apprenticeships, such as a bursary for apprentices for underrepresented groups and funding to roll out the Access to Apprenticeship programme, which I think is transformational in the lives of many. My department will also invest a further €4 million Euro in further education and training to deliver on our FET strategy, our transforming learning strategy and, crucially, the Adult Literacy for Life strategy, tackling adult literacy, numeracy and digital skill leaves uh, as well. But Budget 2023 does more than all this. We're trying to fundamentally shift our student support structures. So yes, there's a lot of one-off payments and they're right and they're proper and they'll help students and their parents between now and Christmas. But we have taken real steps to drive down the cost of education more permanently. We cannot have a situation where this country urgently requires a workforce in a society which is educated and skilled, yet some people still feel as though aspirations are out of their reach. Every single person studying in third level today is the bedrock upon which our future prosperity will be built. And it follows that third level must walk in the footsteps of second level, and that has to be universal access for all. So in this budget, we're providing an extra 75 million euro to increase our student supports on a permanent basis through the student grant scheme. That will mean that we're increasing the student maintenance grants effective from January. Students don't need to wait till next September. Effective from January, the monthly student grant rate will rise. The special and band one maintenance grants rates will increase by a further 14% and all other maintenance grants rates will increase by 10%. 10 uh, we're also making sure that the permanent amount of students who will benefit from half fees uh, will increase. So at the moment, anybody earning 55,240 in their house only pays 50% of fees. That will now rise to 62,000. So from now on, anyone earning 62,000 or less uh, will never pay the full fees and will only pay a max of 1,500 euro. And we're making permanent the undergraduate student contribution reduction of 500 euro for anybody uh, earning less than 100,000. We're also keeping the funding in place for mental health, for wellbeing support, a permanent increase in the PhD award stipend of 500 euro and a permanent increase in the postgraduate fee uh, contribution grant by a further 500 euro from 3,500 to 4,000 euro. These are some of the measures myself and Minister Collins are working on. Government.